What is going on guys? This is Nick here at Y for Turbo and today we've got a little bit of a different video more along the lines of an update video. I have been talking to you guys about updating you on what's been going on in my life, uh, what caused the 10 month hiatus from YouTube and Y for Turbo and what our plans for the future are uh, between this community. So first thing I want to start off with is basically what happened. Um, you know, I was getting tons of comments like even a couple days in, like, is is why for, is Nick dead? Is why for Turbo gone? Like, what's going on? And the funny thing is, the last video before I went on my hiatus was actually called "Is NHL 17 Boring," and that did kind of play into it a little bit. Um, I was attempting to start a new series that was more along the lines of like a Bacon Country, talking about current events, the state of the NHL community scene and things of that nature, just going a little more in-depth than he does, where he kind of goes with what's currently on his mind, uh, stream of consciousness. Um, well, I don't, I don't 100% know, like, his style of creation, but mine was going to be more along the lines of, um, you know, what the, the community was talking about and things like that. I think I cited a few different Twitter rants by pretty big NHL YouTubers when uh, during that uh, video. So... That's kind of just a coincidence. I didn't necessarily plan on stopping. Um, I think I had a few other videos actually filmed to come out after that that have just been lost to, you know, whatever time. And, uh, yeah, it just, the couple days turned into a week, and the couple weeks turned into months, and now it, you know, it was nearly a year. It was eight to ten months. It was ten months, I think, uh, roughly. And uh, that, that kind of leaves us in now. So... The thing that kind of happened was if you've been a subscriber since then, uh, you'll kind of notice that the summer before NHL 17 was a little spotty. Um, I wasn't necessarily uploading every day like I was in spring of that year for NHL 16. I think NHL 16 was definitely like my favorite NHL recently because of, you know, the amount of growth this channel. I mean, this channel had like a thousand subs in a month because of that GM mode, that Edmonton GM mode. And... That was amazing. That was just the most fun I've ever had on YouTube because it went from me just talking to a couple people. I didn't even have like 100 subs. And then all of a sudden it was 1,500 and it seemed like it was overnight. I remember waking up every morning and my email was filled to the brim with new subscribers and comments. And I would have videos with nearly 300 comments on them. And it was so hard to basically go through all of them. The thing was at that time I was finishing up about a two-year period where I was working for myself and I had actually finished to a point where I was no longer even doing work. I wasn't actively doing the work that I was going to do because I was going to move. Um, so I had saved up a bunch of money. I had just been doing YouTube and I was going to move at the time to the East coast of the United States. Um, that changed, obviously a uh, big thing happened in my life that changed all that. Um, basically business partner kind of stuff fell through. It sucked. Um, and it was really weighing on me. But at the same time, this is when, this is like April of 2016, I think, um, everything was blowing up on YouTube for me. And so I kind of had to be level headed where like, I didn't feel like doing anything because this whole plan I just put my life on the line for was over. But I was like, let's just make a GM mode. Let's just have fun. You know, why for Turbo has always been about fun. The very earliest videos were just literally me putting a... They're not on YouTube anymore. I'm sorry. I don't have them. I don't know where they are. But basically, they are just uh, me putting a microphone in the middle of, like, a party. Everybody's hanging out, playing video games, and we're just talking. It was just about fun. And that got me, like, 14 subscribers, and it was like that for a long time. And then I started doing NHL content, and we just blew up uh, for, you know, what I was used to. And uh, it was crazy. So... For me, it was a lot of emotions at that point, and I wanted to keep doing YouTube. I got offered some voice acting gigs with other... I got one huge gig from a YouTuber and a few other things. So, like, YouTube was, like, a huge part of my life at that point, and it was kind of a thing... I don't want to be cliche and call it, like, an escape, but, like, it was one of those things where I was like, this is all me. Like, this is just what I'm doing. It's literally just me. That's all... That all is it. I don't have to work with anyone else if I don't want to. I don't have to depend on anyone. It's just me. It's as long as I'm doing it, it's coming up. The content's working. So 
I was getting a lot of subs, I was getting a lot of likes, and videos were posting daily, and then all of a sudden it started to kind of stop. Um, I moved, actually, I changed all my plans, um, moved to Chicago because one of my friends got me a job out here working in the music industry, which I am a musician, if you guys didn't know. That was my job for about two years. I just toured and played with my band, recorded other bands. I literally lived off just my musical talent and recording talent, things like that. Um, it was all just like a DIY thing, just do it myself kind of thing uh, with my bandmates and stuff like that. So once that kind of like stopped and we, we all moved on, um, I had to figure something else out. So I got a more official music industry job, uh, which I'm still working to this day, which is awesome. Um, basically, once I moved to Chicago, I started doing that. I had never lived in a city this big. Um, I lived like about an hour north of Detroit, and that was like the biggest city I'd ever been to. Um, like I'd been to other cities on vacation, but like, you know, regularly, like I know Detroit, I can go and walk around and know where it is and what to do and things like that. Uh, you know, I couldn't go to like New York and be like, Oh, I know exactly what to do. That's not how it works. So that was kind of my thing. I wanted to explore the city. I wanted to get to know the people that were here that I already knew, but wanted to get to know them better. So that whole summer was spent after work, you know, I, I would play do this opening shift basically at the company I work at, which is like a tech company for, uh, for music. And, you know, it's just a desk job. It's just an office job. So I used to always work, you know, manual jobs, manual labor or playing music, which is also kind of manual labor in a sense. You get pretty sweaty <laughs> um, or recording gigs, which is technically a desk job, but it's a lot more hands-on. It's a little more exhausting. So I had all this energy at the end of the day. I got out pretty early in the day. I wasn't working real late nights. I was getting out like mid-afternoon, and I just had this huge city to explore uh, with myself, my girlfriend, uh, my other friends, things like that. So we would just go out. We would just walk around. We'd do things, just anything. So that became, you know, I was like, okay, I need to at least post like three videos a week, get a GM mode up or two GM modes up, and like one other video I was doing like the Be a Pros. Then I just started only doing GM modes. I took about like two or three weeks off. There was another like, is Nick dead? What's going on? Then I was like, okay, no, no. I'm just going to make GM modes every other day until NHL 17 comes out. And it pretty much worked out for the most part. I was making them every single uh, chance I got. I was still doing a lot of stuff. Here's when NHL 17 came out. I took like a day or two off so I could just record a bunch of NHL 17 content um, got all that done. And I was like, this is going to be awesome. We're going to leapfrog from like 1500 subs. And we're going to go to like 10 K five K 10 K subs in the first couple weeks. It's going to be crazy. I had these like unrealistic expectations because I'm so, I was so used to just gaining subs so quickly. And I'm like, now that I have a bigger base, I'm launching this new game, uh, the GM mode. I, w I already had like a pretty high ranked GM mode in the Edmonton GM mode, uh, it, in search results for NHL 16. So I was like, this is awesome. Not knowing that it was basically based on my consistency. The YouTube algorithm had just changed for like longer videos. So I was really getting helped out with that. There was, it was just a perfect storm and it helped me so much. So I, I got really helped out by YouTube. So it's not so much. I really cared like how far I was going to leapfrog subscribers and stuff like that. I just wanted a discussion and I was getting a ton of comments on this Toronto GM mode, all this stuff. So I was just ready for, to go for it. And this is about the time we had lived in this apartment for my, my new apartment for a couple months, like three months. And that's when I was still doing YouTube. And then I got a roommate to kind of help out with rent, even though we were doing fine. But it was just like he was from Michigan and we already knew him. He wanted to move out here. and We're like, yeah, we got an extra bedroom. Let's do it. At the time, I was actually just I had my desk to record all my YouTube videos out in the open. And so once you get a roommate that has a different schedule, especially, it's a little difficult to coordinate when to do stuff. I didn't want to just take over the room for two or three hours to record videos, to edit, all this stuff. And I'm like, hey, you guys got to be quiet. You can't even make food. You can't do this or that. I, I couldn't tell them that. Like, I felt terrible doing that. So I started only recording like one day a week. One video or two video or three videos would go up and it would just be like, you know, harder and harder for me to do anything. So I just kind of stopped doing it and fell out of it. Didn't even open the YouTube app like at home on my phone to look at comments. Didn't go on my, I was just like 
it was tough. And as the weeks and months got longer and longer, it just got way harder to look at it. And I didn't really have a passion for the game. Um, I wasn't liking the direction it was going. And the GM mode, to me, it was like, yeah, okay. And some of the moves were fun. Like, I still love GM mode, franchise mode, but it wasn't really hooking me in. Um, and the wings were also doing bad, not to, like, have them be the cause of it. But, you know, when the wings were doing well, it always gets me, like, hyped for hockey. But then it was looking like, oh, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to make the playoffs. Oh, okay, this sucks. Oh, they didn't make the playoffs. Wow, first time in my life. Um, so it kind of unhyped me for hockey in a sense, cause you know, whatever. It, and it, it wasn't even like the Chicago Blackhawks were doing well, even though I'm not a fan of the Blackhawks at all. I was in, I'm in, I live in Chicago. So it's always nice to see like the, I mean, the Cubs won. So baseball was huge here. Um, but you know, the Blackhawks losing the first round, it was kind of, eh, nobody really was caring about hockey around here. So I wasn't saturated with like NHL fans. Like I was in Michigan. Uh, so it kind of just like hockey went by the wayside for me. And it wasn't until I was like just kind of sitting at home a few, I guess a few weeks ago, a few months ago at this point. I'm not really sure. Um, I just like turned on a game that was like on YouTube um, that was recorded, obviously, back in the early. Uh, it was like the first time. Austin Matthews and Connor McDavid had faced off, or maybe it was Connor McDavid and Jack Eichel or something. It was like base. It was Connor McDavid and somebody else that was like his, you know, quote unquote rival. And I was just watching hockey. I'm like, God, I miss, I miss talking about hockey because I was talking to my friends who were like sitting with me about it, and I was telling them like they they're not huge hockey fans, but I was like, oh yeah, I was telling them about all the, you know, the quote unquote like forced drama between the picks and all this stuff and. You know, they, they didn't know anything about this. So to me, I was like, wow, I want to be back with, um, you know, talking to people that gen generally know way more than me, you know, online. Like, you guys always know a lot more than I do about certain things, and you're up to date on everything. And I missed that. So I was like, I just fired up NHL 17 on my Xbox, and I just started playing, and I was like, wow, I really miss this. You know, I had just moved to a new apartment that actually had an office that I... I am in currently now and I originally just set it up just to maybe do streaming or something um, I wasn't really sure obviously recording music but like you know on the the whole YouTube end so you know got my studio foam all installed got my nice studio desk uh, my computer all my displays and my instruments everything in here and I was like wow all I got to do is hit record and I can revamp this whole channel and i just did it one day um i hired a voice actor in that original trailer if you guys haven't seen it it's a little live for turbo trailer it's just like july 26 or whenever we relaunched um or not july 26 july 12th um yeah i hired a voice actor to do a trailer for me i was really hyped on it and i just wanted something fun to kind of do i i just want to make this channel like the most fun possible and so far nhl 18 has been like all about fun the threes mode and the EASHL threes, that's all just fun. You know, that's what the 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 NHL uh, All-Star game, you know, they wanted to do the 3v3 because it's just fun. It's just a fun thing. And I think that would be a lot more fun to do. The GM mode, obviously, I'll always love. I love building teams, but doing threes and doing EASHL, and I want to do some subscriber stuff like with streams, like you guys come on, you can play with me. Um, I'll probably be getting on PS4, by the way, because I did get a PS4 for my birthday last year uh, from my girlfriend, which is so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and I wanted to switch over because a lot of the uh, guys who wanted to collab with me last year were on PS4, and I couldn't really do anything for them or with them because I was on Xbox. But, you know, now that I have a steady job, I, I can throw, you know, some money at getting it for both systems if that becomes a thing but i think i'm gonna go with ps4 for my main account basically at this point um so if you're on ps4 and you know you want to do something like that let me know so that's kind of what happened now this is gonna be a way longer video than i thought it was gonna be because that explanation was way longer than it was gonna be and if you have questions let me know um obviously i don't want to you know say too much i don't want to bring anybody into it that doesn't need to be plastered online or anything like that. 
it's just me. You know, at the end of the day, it's just me. Um, I just didn't have the motivation, and that's the biggest thing. Um, plus, just the environment wasn't perfect for it. And for me, I didn't want to cause anybody any harm or do anything weird or take away from their time at home after work with my roommates and things like that. So I just stopped. And that was kind of the biggest motivating factor with it. But it was a compound, you know, problem. It, it was a lot of different things. So that's kind of what I felt like where I've been. That's, in, in a nutshell, what kind of happened. And, you know, in a perfect world, obviously I'd have what I have now, which is the office, great recording space, awesome microphones that I can use. Um, because part of my job is, you know, working in uh, music sales and things like that so being able to like use different things and buy things i bought a really nice usb mic that i used to use um and that made it a little bit easier anything that makes it a little bit easier to work on these videos is awesome for me because it just causes such great uh motivation especially when it's just hit record go uh, that's the best. And if you guys do have any questions about, you know, my rig and things like that, check down in the description. That's like all my gear. But if you do have any other questions or you want to start making videos, let me know because we can collab and that'd be really fun. Um, but now I want to get into like what my goals for the channel are. And like I said, this video is going to be kind of long. Maybe I'll timestamp it with like goals, where I was, things like that. Um, I mostly just want to fill you guys in on everything, be totally transparent. So if you're like true Y for Turbo fan, I want you to know I'm here for you and we're, we're going to go get it. Um, my goals for this channel basically are getting back to 100% daily vids, which we have been doing. I even went on a small little vacation in the last like week or so and was able to pad videos for the whole weekend which was awesome. So I'm working really hard at it. I'm trying to get back into having a big queue of like NHL 18 footage so we can just kind of pad it until we get to the actual launch date. Obviously, GM modes are going to be like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So keep an eye out for those. Um, that's my biggest goal. Uh, among like any other goal, that is the biggest goal, just being consistent with you guys and having you guys uh, get positive content every every single day out of this channel and stuff you're interested in too um my other goals are hitting uh the 200,000 view mark which were like 3,000 away which is insane um that would blow my mind 200,000 views on this channel that's uh that th that's gonna happen but it's that that's my goal that was my goal from you know starting uh so it's crazy. We're, we're only 3,000 away, and I, I'm sure we'll probably hit it next week, which is insane. Um, and I want to hit 2K subs. Obviously, this is just good to have some sub growth. It's not a huge deal for me. I mean, being a, when you get higher up in the, the sub rating, especially among NHL YouTubers, other YouTubers start to kind of talk to you. Right now, I have like a good group of guys that I talk to on Twitter and things like that. They've included me in group chats. We talk about our goals and possible collaborations. These are the same guys that have it for PS4. So I couldn't always collab with them last year when they were doing stuff together. Uh, this year, I'll, I'll definitely try to hit some of them up for EASHL, especially. I want to I wanna get like a club going. I think that would be so fun. Let me know down below like what you guys think, and we'll have another question uh, later. Um, and then I just want to start a new series, a uh, new type of video for NHL, something that isn't already being made in the community. And I have about 90 ideas that I've just written down the last like two months. I have like a to do, I, I've been getting really into to do note kind of like culture. It's like a big thing. Uh, and my girlfriend kind of started me on it. But um, every day I just write down ideas, I write it down goals. And this YouTube channel has been my focus. So getting all those ideas for things that haven't been done in the NHL community ever, that's the thing. I'll search them high and low and see if this has been done for anything. Some stuff's been done in like other sports games. Like 2K is a really good example because it's probably, it's probably the most popular sports game other than like FIFA. But I, I mean more for like American Canada. Um NBA 2K is probably the most popular. FIFA is the most popular overall, but it's like different cultures. You know, obviously in America, we're not as big on soccer or football, but uh, it's, uh, I mean, basketball is a huge thing for us here. 
and you know hockey isn't as big but i can take some ideas from these other streamers and youtubers in these other sports and combine them to work for hockey which a lot of people have been calling for certain things to come out through that that have been uh just in the game actually like you know hitting up ea on twitter and being like hey can we do something like a draft champions like madden does you know it came out last year which was awesome and i was very excited about that was probably one of the best game modes if only they had made a little more the the thing is they didn't build on it like the draft champions on madden there's a lot more involved in that draft champions whereas this was just draft team play four games that was it so it would have been nice to do like a season mode or even like a GM mode, like a fantasy draft champions that you could play online. Not so much GM connected because I know there's they got to work around a couple things on that, and you know maybe we'll get it if we if we get GM connected. I will do a collab with other YouTubers on GM connected 100 percent because that is my that is my thing. I need to do that. Central time zone guys, hit me up. Um, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much my goals at this point. I do have some ideas that I will be sharing with you. I might do a test video. And, I mean, these are kind of videos that uh, I really need feedback on, especially from my sample pool of subs. Because if these pop off and they become something big, obviously it's going to become a trend. So I want you guys to know, um, you know, that you have the say in it, like what's going to work. And this will come out probably before NHL 18 comes out. So I'm working on a couple right now. Um, and I just, I want those to be like, my things i want those to be the things that i really work hard on where then i can just go and hit record and do a couple quick game mode things like gm mode just takes sitting down and talking uh be a pro i just gotta play the game sit down talk it's really nothing most of the game modes right now are just that these are going to be more planned out things so that's kind of where i'm at on that and my goals i mean that's what i want to do so this brings me to the final part of this video the third part what do you guys want NHL 18 obviously is coming out uh, in September. It's going to be a big deal for the NHL community. Uh, a lot more casual game modes are involved with threes and things like that. So it's going to bring in a wide variety of players. Uh, more YouTube channels are going to be popping up. I mean, it's insane how many YouTube channels for NHL have popped up since I've taken my hiatus. Insane. It's, it's not oversaturated by any means. We definitely could use about 100 more because, like... It's such a small niche on YouTube, but, uh, you know, I want to, I want to stake my claim and I want to be a channel that people go to, especially for GM mode content that know that we can, uh, we can build a team together. You know, it's, it's never going to be just me. It's always going to be about comments and, uh, you know, people like 2BC and, and Bacon and stuff like Bacon a little, is a little more involved in the community, like on Twitter and stuff like that. 2BC does more along the lines of hosting events on other games, like hosting GTA 5 lobbies and things like that. So that they're almost like too big for their own good. Uh, whereas like where we're at, we have, I, you know, I could, I could like meet all you guys and it wouldn't be crazy, you know, to think <laughs> like we could all meet each other and it wouldn't be like the hardest thing in the world. I wouldn't be meeting 250,000 people or whatever. I mean like 1500 people we could fill out like a banquet hall or something like that. That's the thing. Like it's, I could talk to all of you guys and actually respond to all your comments in like an hour. It's not a big deal. We, we have a very good little community here that will grow. I know it will grow because we're growing right now. We're back on the growth train. So I want to know what you guys want out of this channel. I know GM modes are going to be the biggest thing. They're always my biggest videos. Uh, so no change there. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, forever. That Monday, Wednesday, Friday GM mode every single week. Um, what kind of series do you want though? You know, is the be a pro okay? Do you want some different variation? Uh, what kind of funny character could we do? Cause I always thought Frodo was funny because it's so damn hard <laughs> and it's almost to me getting frustrating how hard it is playing on superstar with a guy that's like five, two or however tall he is. Um, you know, what, what do we do there? And, you know, obviously hockey content is going to be the bulk of the channel, but you know, are there other sports games or anything you guys want to see? Um, even not on the channel. I do have another channel called Y for turbo gaming that I've yet to upload on. I'm most likely going to be using that for like 
live streams of games that wouldn't work on Wi-Fi Turbo. So, you know, anything. Like, uh, I've been playing, like, the Long Dark, uh, Overwatch. I've, I've got really into... That was another reason I stopped. I started playing a ton of Overwatch. Um, uh, I mean, anything like that. CSGO, I play a little bit of. Um, you know, a lot of those competitive games. Uh, I used to play H1Z1, then, uh, then uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds came out, and I didn't get it, but I feel like I kind of missed the whole wave of that being super popular. I mean, it's still popular on Twitch, but uh, it's not as popular as it once was, um, and people are kind of getting over it. So maybe there'll be another Battleground-style game in the future Battle Royale game. Um, but let me know. Like, let me know what you guys want to see, different series. Do you want me to do regular live streams? Um, I may have to upgrade my PC because I tried to do a live stream the other day. And for some reason, my Elgato was encoding it fine on my end. But then when it was getting compressed and uploaded to YouTube, it was the bit rate was way off. And it was like blurry and looked like NHL 94 or something. Um, so I don't know if I got to like get a better video card or I don't think it's my processor. I have like, I'm, I'm using an AMD build right now. So it's like an FX series. It's like a pretty high end eight core, uh, processor, but it is an AMD. So I, I, I was thinking about making an Intel build because I used to use an i7 build for my, my old PC and it really never had a problem, but I didn't have that great of a, a graphic or video card in it. So it, you know, it could, it could stream fine, but when, once it got to like any kind of demanding game that wasn't like minecraft or csgo or something it would just really bog down and you know i just it it was just kind of an older computer it was an older i7 build um so i got this one but went with amd but let me let me know what you guys want to do um this video has been a lot longer i'm sure i used up a ton of my my footage uh for the background footage here but i'm really excited for the future y for turbo i just wanted to let you guys know uh you know i'm i do not plan on quitting I have plans for the Christmas holiday. Uh, that's always a big one for new people getting into NHL, which is awesome. It's usually like kids, you know, getting in for Christmas, but it's always nice. All you Canadian kids up there getting it, getting it a couple months late, but at least you're getting it. And uh, I've got some plans for that. So I've got future plans. I've gotten into the to-do goals list. You guys can be proud of me on that aspect. We're going to keep going and we're going to be a big channel someday we're gonna we're gonna make some moves and i'm never gonna forget like who built this channel it's all you guys the only look at watch one geo mode if you if you're watching this video as the very first video you ever see of why for turbo this is crazy that you've made it this far into the video not watching anything else but thank you for watching go watch one of my gm modes all it is is comments from you guys all i do is your comments it's never gonna change it's never going to differ. It's always going to be that. I'm always going to rely on an audience participation. And the only videos that don't have that participation are my first videos that ever came out that have like two comments. Now they have more because they've been out there for like a year. But crazy. You guys have been amazing in the response. No one has been negative. No one has called me out or anything. Everybody's just happy to see me. I'm happy to hear from you guys. Subs that I talked to 10 months ago it's like we picked up we're right where we left off so thank you guys for watching uh next video will most likely be uh, i think it's a gm mode tomorrow i don't know when i'm gonna upload this if it's, if it's gonna be the same day as my gm mode or if it's gonna be the day before either way monday wednesday friday gm modes everything else is gonna be filled in with most likely nhl 18 content at this point uh, let me know what you want, especially with the uh, series and just the future of this channel. It is in your guys' hands, and I'm just, I'm just the messenger. So <laughs> thanks again, guys. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, make sure to subscribe because we do have a ton of plans for the future, and we'll see you next time out on the ice. <laughs>